Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 641. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 640 to 643. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see that there's a uh, single click keyboard shortcut for a pivot chart. And we want to relate this to two other keyboard shortcuts for charts. Now, I have a big data set we're all going to use for the pivot table over here, but here just is a simple data set, and the keyboard shortcut for a chart on the sheet is Alt F1, so I just Alt F1, and it brings up the default chart. Now, if you do this a lot, let's say you do XY scatter or diagram or something like that, or whatever the default chart is that you like to use, you can uh, watch this video right here, YouTubers Love Excel 128 Set Default Chart. But that's it. That is a great keyboard shortcut. F11 does it not on the top of the sheet, but it'll insert a new sheet. So when I hit F11, boop, it gives me a new chart. Now here's the pivot table one. Those Both of those keyboard shortcuts work. And you don't even have to highlight the whole data set. Let's go ahead. Here's a big data set. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for pivot table. There's the ribbon way. Alt NVT. And I'm going to say new sheet OK. So it's Alt NVT Enter. Now I'm just going to put um, product over here and region right here and sales. No, I'm going to do units just to illustrate this. Now here's a cool thing. This thing could be as, as complicated as you would like, uh, you know, with lots of different uh, sub-levels and everything. But let's try it. Alt F1. And sure enough, that keyboard shortcut works. And we have our little filters here for product. Filter, we can filter over here. Um, let's go like this. So that's pretty amazing. And all I did was I had one single cell. Let's try F11. F11, and it puts it on a new sheet. So inside of a pivot table, I better name this pivot table. When you uh, have a pivot table, just have a single cell. You got your default chart. Those keyboard shortcuts work also. All right, see you next trick.